River and air patrols, bomb sniffing dogs, and undercover agents are all on guard, looking for anything resembling a threat. A record crowd in the swearing in of America's first African American president present a double worry for the FBI. We're asking our agents and our partners to go back, recontact sources, to ensure that we've scrubbed and rescrubbed every potential threat that we have. A three and a half square mile red zone from the White House to the National Mall to the Capitol is virtually locked down. 20,000 law enforcement officers will be backed up by more than 16,000 National Guard and active duty troops. We look at every type of threat out there, whether we're talking about a uh, a simple uh, lone individual type uh, threat or something that is a, a more complicated uh, organized uh, terrorist type. Those nearest to the swearing in and those lining the parade route will be heavily screened, their movements restricted. It would be impossible to run everyone through metal detectors and spectators are expected to outnumber police about 100 to 1. So surveillance cameras will be critical in spotting potential trouble. Some 5,000 cameras spread all through the city will pipe real-time images into security command centers. So it's going to be constant information flow and constant on-the-ground eyes and ears. Officials say there is no known threat against President-elect Obama, but they recognize the inauguration is an attractive target. There's no question that an African-American president will excite a certain small element of the population that's prejudiced or otherwise uh, disturbed or have an ax to grind. Critics say all of this security may be overkill. The Secret Service says it'll take that criticism, though, rather than risk having to explain why something important wasn't done. Katie? All right, Bob Orbob, thanks very much.